Today and tomorrow is the STEP student conference. Each day, 3,000 students, a total of 6,000 students. They get to see the real world applications of science, engineering, math, and uh, technology. To do this, I need to find out what wing would create the most lift for my aircraft. So I built a horizontal lift wind tunnel to measure the lift generated on 18 airfoils of different geometric shapes and contours. Riverside Unified students are here to experience the different booths and activities. I'm just looking around at these cool science things. Uh, you can learn how the sun looks like and how the clouds, how they, it actually looks like they move slow, but they're actually moving really fast. STEP well, it stands for Science and Technology Education Partnership, and it's a consortium of schools, school districts, to put on shows like this. This is really to expose kids to uh, scientific principles in that show. Learning science, more new things and all that. We're learning uh, like mechanical stuff. We're learning about like animal fossils. Like right behind me is uh, an exhibit from the Navy of the Sea Perch underwater vehicle that the students can pilot. Press the little remote control, it moves. We also have a model of a, a submarine and some of the veterans who were submariners. What it means to have a submarine, which is probably the most technologically sophisticated piece of equipment in the world. We have the Space Museum uh, here for the students to see, and this is all our outside exhibits. And then inside, we have the science show by General Atomics. They, they're gonna be shooting ping pong balls out of a cannon using vacuum. I saw them operating the robot. Man, that's cool. I'd love to get into that when I get older. And because it turns on and off so fast, all of the current that's flowing in here flows on the individual, but only on the very peripheral of the vision. We've got uh, students who are learning about code.org and learning about computer science. They're doing some hands-on activities and then doing some work with computers. And then they're engaging in virtual reality and going diving under the sea in the coral reefs and learning about how global warming is affecting uh, the coral reefs around the world. It's so much fun. I love talking to kids and inspiring them about science. It's great. When I came here, I saw so many different things than what are here now. And those things that I saw really aroused me that, wow, I really want to come into this field because I really like seeing what other people have done.